A health near forward. Bedtime story. 9-11. Kyle. A man who loved ramen so much, so I eat every ramen restaurant in Vancouver. Kyle. A man weird enough want to hear Shakespeare's Macbeth as bedtime story. Kyle. A man whom my life will be so boring without him. Thunder and the three weeks. Where have those been, sister? <coughs> Colin Swan. Sister, where are you? Oh. Sailor's wife had cast the knot in her lap and munched and munched and munched. Give me, quoth I, a root leaf. Witched the rump fed wrong young Christ. Her husband's the two Aleppo gun, Master Old the Tiger. But in a sieve, I will thatter sail, and like a rat without a tail, I will do, I will do, and I will do. I will give thee a win. Loaves are mine, and I another. I myself have all the other, and the very port they blow, all the quarter that they know. I the shipman's cart, I will drain him dry as hay. Sleep should neither night nor day, hang up on his penthouse the lid. He should live a man for bed. Worry night nine times nine. Shall he dwan the pink and the pine? Through his bark cannot be lost. Yet it shall be tempest tossed. Look what I have. Show me, show me. Here I have a pilot summed, whack as homeward he did come. A drum! Drum, Macbeth, Macbeth has come. The weird sister, hand in hand, poster of the sea and the land, lost to go about, about. Third, thrice to thine, and thrice to mine, and thrice again to make up nine. Peace, the charms went up. So foil and fair a day. I have not seen. How far it's cold forest? But at least so weathered and so weird in the attire. Let's look not like the inhabitants on the earth. And yet, are they on? Leave you, or are you out? Let's men make question. You seem to understand me. By each at once. Her chappy finger laying upon her skinny lips. You should be a woman, and yet your beard forbid me to interpret it. Let you also speak if you can. What are you? Oh hell, Macbeth! Hell to thee, then of glamest. Oh hell, Macbeth! Hell to thee, then of Pador. O hell, Macbeth, thou shalt be hereafter. Good sir, why do you start and seem to fear? Things that do sound so fair, I the name of truth, and yet fant fantastical, or that indeed which all worldly ye show, my noble partner. You greet with present grace and a great prediction of noble have, having and of royal hope. Thus he seems wrapped with hope. To me you speak not. If you can look into the seed of time, and say which grain will grow and which will not, speak then to me, who neither back nor fear, your favors nor your hate. Hell, hell, hell. 
Lesser than Macbeth and the greater. Not so happy, yet much happier. Though should get hinst, though low none. So all hell, Macbeth and the Banco. Banco and the Macbeth, all hell. See, you imperfect speakers. Tell me more. By senior death, I know I am thin of glamest. But how of Caldor? The thing of Caldor lives as pro prosperous gentleman, and to be king stand not within the pros prospect of belief. No more than to be Caldor. Say from whence do you all this strange intelligence? Or oh, why upon this blast he health you stop our way? With such prophetic greeting, speak, I charge you, which vanished. The earth has bubbled, the water hath, and the leaves are all of them. Whether are they vanished? Into the air, and what seems corporal melted, as breath into the wind would they had stayed. Were such things here as we do speak about? Or have we eaten on the insane route that takes the recent present? The children shall be him. You shall be him. And the sand of outdoor too? When it's not so? To the self same, on and worse. Who's here? And the Ross and egg. Angus. The king has happily received Macbeth, the news of Lee's success, and when he read the personal venture in the rebels fight, he wonder and his praised to content, which should be thin or hissed, silenced with that, in viewing over the rest, over the self self same day. He find Lee in the stored Norwegian ranks, nothing af afeard of what Lee self did make. Strange image of death, as thick as hell, composed with post, and everyone did bear. Lee praised in his kingdom's greatest defense, and poured them down before him. We are sent with leave from our royal master, thanks, only to hear land lead into his sight, not pay leave. And for an earnest of a greater honor, he bade me from him call the thing of Caldor, in which addition, hell most worthy thing, for it is thing. What? Can the devil speak truth? The thin of Caldor's lips, why do you dress me in borrowed rope? Who was the thin leaf yes, but under heavy judgment bears the last life, which he deserved to lose, whether he was combined with those of Norway or did line the rebel, with hidden hope and advantage or less with both. He, he labored in his country's wreck, I know not, but treason's cap, capital, confessed and proved, have overthrown him. Namest and thin of odor, the greatest is behind. Thanks for your pain. Do you not hope your children shall be kings? When those lads give the thing of Caldor to me, promise no less to them? Let's trust home, might yet enkindle you unto the crown, besides the thing of Caldor, but tis strange, and oftentimes to win us to our home. The instruments of darkness tell us truth. Win us with honest trifle, to be traced in deepest consequence, 
cousin a word, I pray you. Two truths are told, as happy prologues to swelling act. Of the imperial theme, I thank you, gentlemen. Cannot be ill, cannot be good. If ill, why has it given me earnest of success? Commenting in a truth, I am thin of corridor. If good, why do I yield to that suggestion, whose horrid image does unfix my hair, and make my seated heart knock as my rib, against the use of nature? Present fear, a less than horrible imagines my thought, whose murder yet is but fantastical. Shake of soul my single state of man that function is smothered in surmise, and nothing is but what is not. Look, our partners wreck. Chance will have me in, why chance may crown me without my stare. New horrors come up on him, like our strange garments. Clever not to their mold, but with the aid of use. Come what come may, I am the hour run to the roughest day. Worthy Macbeth, we stay up on your leisure. Give me your favor, my dual brain was wrought with things to forget. King, kind gentleman, you pains. I register where every day I turn, the leaf to read them. Let us toward the king, think upon what hath chanced, and at more time. The interim have waited, let us speak our free heart each to other. Very glad. Till then, enough, come friends. Be continued. May you have a good night's sleep, as the stars blink in the sky, as the moon start to rise, as a good child needed to be in bed. Good night, good night. Meet you tomorrow at night.